Welcome to the Monroe Review, where it's all about connecting, sharing, and valuing the arts in the central San Joaquin Valley. I'm Donald Monroe. Today is July 18th, and I am excited to be here in the beautiful CMAX studio in downtown Fresno. We have a very special treat for you this evening, the first ever edition of the Monroe Review Game Show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've wanted to do something like this for a long time. The special topic this evening is theater, both national and local. I'll be explaining the various games and rules in a moment, but first I want to introduce you to our three illustrious contestants. First is Maddie Broach. She was last seen in Selma Art Center's The SpongeBob Musical. Welcome, Maddie. Thank you. Thank you. So, so tell us what role did you play in that show? So I was the mayor of Bikini Bottom, and I was actually one of six that were called back to the process. Um, SpongeBob was supposed to open earlier this year, but due to COVID and other reasons, it was postponed. So there was a handful of us that jumped right in, and we had about three weeks of rehearsal with the rest of the cast, and then we opened up. It was a great show. It I, was so I, much it's fun. It's so cute, so clever, and I love those songs. It was great. It was definitely yeah. the most physical show I've done in a while. So <laughs> I love that selfie that you Oh, you took on stage thank you. Too. Thank that you very fun. much. <laughs> <laughs> so our second contestant is Daniel Hernandez, who was last seen in Good Company Players, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and is currently in Sister Act, the musical. Now, tell us a little about your character in Sister Act. I play an officer, Eddie Souther. He's in the film. This version of Eddie Souther, though, he's a little bit more flushed out. Um, he's a potential love interest, perhaps, to uh, the Whoopi Goldberg part. And tell us your character's nickname. Sweaty Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense. It's 108 right now. So not everyone needs to relax, OK? Everyone's sweating. Everyone is sweaty. <laughs> it's hot, OK? <laughs> and our third contestant is Tony Sanders, artistic director of Shine Theater Company, which just finished up a really strong production of Children of Eden. Wow. Tell us a little bit about Children of Eden. Uh, so. It is <clears throat> the examination of family and family, family values um, and family dysfunction <laughs> um, in parenting um, through the lens of the book of Genesis from the Bible. So you have the stories of Adam and Eve with their children and their relationship with God as well. Um, and then Act 2 is all about Noah and his family and how they somehow make it through. Now, one thing to know about Shine Theater Productions is you yes. usually only run two weekends. Yes. And so I always tell people, you've got to get out and see the show yes, when it opens. You right? do. Because um, you don't yes. have much of a chance. <laughs> we are expanding that um, next year. We're really excited. Oh, that, good. Um, next year, every, every title in our season, we have five of them lined up. Um, every show at this point is, is set for a three-weekend run. So we're expanding, giving people a little bit more time. Fantastic. To see things. So, Fantastic. Yes. We'll, we'll talk about that season in, in a good. few minutes. Ooh. All right, now it is time to get to what everybody is waiting for, the game show. I can tell you it wouldn't be a true game show without a prize. And the oh. winner will receive the first ever Donnie Award. Oh. Oh. You will always be the first, yes. the first Donnie Award. So we're going to be playing four games. The <clears throat> first is Name That Tune. Now this will be a timed contest, so you're going to use your buzzer, and you've all downloaded... Uh, your noise-making apps there um, uh, to, to buzz in, to chime in. So this, this is a timed, this is a, this is a contest. You'll receive one point for the title of the song and one point for the show it's from. Right. Are we all ready? Ready. ready. OK, let's go. <clears throat> Something in your eyes I see Soon begins bewitching me It's that old devil That you stole from the skies Daniel. I'm going to take a wild guess. Old Devil Moon. <laughs> You're correct. Indian's oh. Rainbow. Is that not the say, show? Say it again. Pinion's Rainbow. Pinion's Rainbow, you are oh, correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> nicely done. Con congratulations. Yeah. This, you, actually, it has the, the title of the song in the I, song, so it's good. Thank goodness. Okay, we're going to go to our next one. Are we ready? Let's do it. Yeah. 
Daniel. The story goes on from baby. You are correct. What? I just recently had an obsession with this show, like very recently. You certainly didn't recognize it from the video. It looks no. like a uh, like a Hollywood slasher movie. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like pretty scary. Okay, are we ready for All the right. next one? Tony, come on! I don't think we are, but just punch here we him go. in the face. Gentle tutors, respected members of the faculty, I'm very grateful for the knowledge that you have given me. I'm afraid. <laughs> Dang it! Daniel. This is uh, Corner of the Sky from Pippin. Pippin. Sorry. You're correct. I can't say it along with you. Should have just guessed the show. I need I a show. I don't look for trouble. I do not accept blame. I have a good and a bad side, but they're one and the same. Ask me to arouse you. I will rise and obey. These are the games I Bathe and drink tea. I've been playing canasta disastrously. I like okay, let me, I, let I me give me a cast hint. of he, he already sang the the title was mm. in. I thought so sang. too. Is it the games I play? <laughs> you are correct. And is it from Follies? That is not correct. Okay. Does any do either mm -hmm. of you have a guess for I... It's not the Book of Mormon. Betsy I think it is. Betsy Wolf start, was in the Broadway revival two, year, two or three years ago. I think it's like falsettos or... Falsettos. Yeah. Is it falsettos? Nice, okay. Nice, nice, nice. See, so one, I have the F right. So one point for <laughs> Daniel saying. and one point for Maddie. Woo! I said right. follies. Oh. I went... Oh. Oh. All right, let's go for the next one here. Follies. Sweaty Eddies. Thank you, Andrew. He's great. He's doing great. It's so much better from Legally Blonde, the musical. You are correct. Piece of cake. I did know that one. We were in a show together. Right? I know. I was so excited to watch the video. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for our next one. I'm going to put my hand on the buzzer. It's definitely me. Revolting Children from Matilda. You're correct. <gasps> I love this song. So cute. Have you seen the the trailer for the new movie musical? Oh, no, no, I have not. I've so seen cool. the cast photos. It's a great one. Okay, uh, number seven. Staring at me. Up. Love it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Was that Tony? I think that was you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going backwards. Um, <laughs> Footloose, the musical. Um, uh, um, let's hear it for the boy. You're <laughs> correct. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> it took forever to get into my brain. We're all, we're all on the board now. Oh, that was all I needed. I just okay, need to get the board. Well, let's go to our next one. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Was it all just a dream? A fantasy? A delusion? No. Today I met him. Can you hear the chimes? And he comes from the country that invented a Claire's and mines. So let me give you some tips. based on a 2008 play that was based on a movie about toxic waste. My big French boyfriend from the Toxic Avenger. You're correct. Oh. Oh. That was, was a hard one. I was coming yeah, right in really Toxic Avenger. One. I could never name the song, but I knew the, knew the show. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, send 
and the clowns from. Uh, go for it. A little night music. You're correct. Okay, <clears throat> one point each. Song didn't even start. <laughs> <laughs> and here's our last name that tune. The elevated train by my window doesn't close me anymore. Uh, I almost just said Lin Manuel Miranda. That musical. Uh, it's called. Oh shoot, I lost it. In the Heights. And I don't know the name of the song. Someone else take it. Maddie, do you know the title? Yeah. I think you were next. Go for it. I was last. Go. Not in my head. He doesn't. Take it, Maddie. I was in this show. This is horrible. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm blanking. I'm so, the light. I'm blanking. It won't be long now. Okay. <laughs> You're right. right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> did that just find? Did that? Yes. Find it? <laughs> I started doing the choreography in my head. I could honestly. See the, I, could, I could see the synapses like whirling it was around. Right. It's coming in. It's coming in. I was getting prepared for my entrance, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, that is yes. it for it's name that tune. Right. Um, that was fun. And we clock in with our score. We have. Maddie with how many points? Four points for Maddie. Woo. How many points for Tony? Three points for Tony. And how many for Daniel? Two hands here. Wow. 11 wow. for Daniel. So All we've right. got Nicely 11. Done. OK. Yeah, Maddie and Tony team up combined. So points. now it's time for our second game. Um, <gasps> and for this one, we asked two local theater celebrities to help us out. And you'll recognize, you'll recognize them right away. Brad Myers is a longtime Fresno State and Community Theater Director whose new show is All My Sons yes. at the Madera Theater Project. That opens July 28th and runs through August 6th. And Dan Pisano is Managing Director of Good Company Players, which has two shows running right now, Sister Act at Roger Rockus Dinner Theater, which runs through September 11th, and Living on Love, which runs through August 14th. Now, this is going to work sort of Hollywood Square style. I'm going to ask a question, and our celebrities are going to give an answer. Uh, the contestants will decide whether that answer is true or false. You'll receive two points for a correct answer. And we're going to do this one one by one, but I'm not going to tell you whose it is until <laughs> after the question and the answer. OK? OK. All right. So here is the first question. The cast of Madera Theater Project's All My Children Sorry. <laughs> the cast, it, they're not doing a soap opera revival. <laughs> the cast of All My Sons is made up of Duncan C. Needham, Leslie Martin, Brandon Petrie, Amy Bolton, James Hume, Raul Vasquez, Tracy Hostmeyer, Chase Stubblefield, and Zoltan Torok. Which of these actors has been in more shows directed by Brad Myers than any other? Let's hear the answer. I've enjoyed collaborating over many years with Leslie Martin, who plays Kate in All My Sons. I sat down and counted, and I have directed her in seven shows, including this one. She's a consummate actor, and um, I'm so pleased to be working with her one more time. Okay, Maddie, this one is for you. Is that true or false? I'm going to go with true. The answer is false. The correct answer is Brandon Petrie. He has been in 10 shows wow. directed by Brad Myers. All mm. right, let's go for our next <clears throat> question. Dan Pisano's favorite song in a musical <laughs> is either Sunrise Sunset from Fiddler on the Roof, All the Men in My Life Keep Getting Killed by Kandarian Demons from Evil Dead the Musical, Walk Him Up the Stairs from Pearly, or Comedy Tonight from A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. Which is it? Let's mm. hear the answer. Well, not a lot of people know this, of course, but uh, I have an affinity for small musicals, especially if they have kind of a bloody twist to them. <laughs> And so I actually do like that song, All My Favorite Men Are Dying From Canadarian Demons. It's got a real hook to it. It fits this uh, story. And uh, it's not something we're going to get to do at Roger Rockas in the near future. <laughs> All right, so we have a bonus on this one. We're, we actually are going to hear that particular song. <laughs> 
Daniel, this is your question. <laughs> True or false? False. You are correct. No. Ooh. Can, can you tell us his, what his favorite song I would song say is? comedy tonight. Actually, Dan Fasano's favorite song is called Walk Him Up the Stairs from Pearly, the musical. And we actually have that to play for you, too. And see if you can recognize a couple of the famous names. This was actually from the late 70s, I believe. Sherman Hensley. Sherman Hensley. Wow. He, Do you he get a was point? in it. That I'm was sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, no. Yeah, that, that. Um, Ro Robert Guillaume. Robert Guillaume. Mm -hmm. And Melba Moore. Moore, yes, yes, they yes. They were all wow. in that musical. That's right. So what is the musical again? And it's Pearly. called Pearly. Yes. P U R L I E. Oh, wonderful. And wonderful they did show. manage they've never done it at Good Company, but they did manage to slip it in in this like musical review. Huh. They did one mm. time. So yeah, to so, yeah. Dan, Dan's favorite. All right, our last one, and we all know, and Tony, you know who um, that you're up for this. In the musical Mamma Mia, what are the names of Sophie's three suspected fathers? And we will hear the, an answer here. Well, I'll never forget this answer because I adopted three goldfish shortly after I saw the show and named them after Sophie's dads. The names are Sam, Bill, and Henry. What do you think, Tony? Is that true or false? I'm going to go true. It's false. Oh, it's one off. It's Harry. not Henry. It's Harry. not Henry. It's Harry. Harry! Oh, Sam, Bill, and Harry. Your children need to do that show. Okay. Mama, guess, you are. Um, <laughs> for, our, for our next uh. question, who directed the Selma Art Center production of A Curious Incident of a Dog in the Nighttime? Let's hear the answer. Well, Selma's production of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night was directed by Ruth Griffin, the dance and theater professor at Fresno State, and she had the perfect touch for the rhythm of the show. Tony. Back to me? Back what? to you, Jeez. yeah. I was sleeping. <laughs> do you remember okay. the question? I do remember the question. Um, I'm looking into Dan's eyes. <laughs> What's your answer, Tony? I'm going to go true. You're correct. Yes! Ooh. Congratulations. Our next question is, who does Mr. Bumble have the hots for in Oliver? The answer is either Mrs. Dalloway, Widow Corny, Widow McAllister, or Miss Honey. Which is correct? In Oliver, Mr. Bumble and Widow McAllister sing the duet, I Shall Scream. She definitely has a good case for workhouse sexual harassment. Here's another fun fact. Children's Musical Theater Works will present Oliver in December. See all those hmm. little local references that. Getting in there? Look at that. Look at that. So, Daniel, <laughs> is uh, that true or false? Is it Widow McAllister? I wish I was more confident. I am vocal directing that production. <laughs> and the answer is true. The answer is false. It was false. It's Widow Corny. Oh my gosh. I thought he was talking about Annie at first, Mr. Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and here's our, here's our last one. I think it's coming to me. Which title has good company players staged more times than any other? Let's hear... The answer. 
Fiddler on the Roof six times. I've done it enough that I have two staircases at my house, one going up and one even longer coming down. <laughs> Actually, King and I would have tied it with six productions, but it was in 2020 and the pandemic uh, canceled the show. So Maddie, true or false, is Fiddler the most performed title? I'm gonna go with true. The answer is false. Of course it is. Does, does anybody have it? Either of you have a guess? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a surprising one. Well, actually, not a surprising one. Think oh. Christmas. Oh, I was gonna say Annie. It's a Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Wow. Oh, I was they, gonna say Annie too at first. They have done, they have done it. I believe it's eight times. Wow. wow. Some, some, some version, version of it. Of it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, All right. Good. Well, before we move on to our next okay. game, I want to check back in with our contestants again, just find a little bit out a little bit more about you. So Daniel, Good Company did a version of Sister Act, I think it was like seven-ish years ago. Could right? be, yeah. And so you are in this new production. You weren't in that last no. production because you went away to school and then you've come back to Fresno. Um, but Camille Gaston is in this current version. Tell us about what it's like to work with Camille. In this. Camille's one of those performers you always want to work with because she comes in ready, she knows the show, she's a great leader, she really instills this great energy with the cast, and it's been a joy working with her. She's one of my dearest friends. She was in my wedding. It's, it's just an absolute joy. And it's a, it's a, for people who haven't seen Sister Act, it really is a fun show. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's based and on it the... really kind of expands on the movie. Yeah, it totally. It's like a whole totally. kind of different feel and... It's, the movie lends itself to being a musical because it's about a nun who, who or about um, a, a singer who goes into a convent for witness protection to hide. And um, so naturally it lends itself to being a musical. And Camille, we know, is an amazing singer and she does such a great job leading the show. Her comedy chops are top notch. So Maddie, you've been in a bunch of shows, um, including some at Art Center. Um, so tell us, what is it like to be in a Selma production? And what do you think you know, having the Selma Arts Center kind of means to the Valley? I've really enjoyed being in um, now two productions at Selma Arts Center. And um, it's been really great. I've had opportunities to work with not only some of my best friends, um, Dominic Rahalva just directed SpongeBob, but also meeting new people and meeting new friends. Um, and they really kind of go out of the box too with their titles. They're not afraid to showcase um, new actors, new directors, new titles, and I've really enjoyed that. They're actually coming up on their ninth season. They posted that puzzle of an announcement earlier this week, so I'm um, getting really excited to see what they're doing next. Yeah, I actually asked them today if, if we could get a, pre a, a sneak, a <laughs> but I don't think they have it nailed, nailed down quite yet. What is your favorite role that you've ever played? That I've ever around? done? Um, I've actually... I've been in Legally Blonde twice now, and I honestly, Vivian has been one of my favorites. Um, it was challenging vocally. Um, her attitude towards life is a little different from mine, so um, actually having to portray some, somewhat of a mean girl. So that was kind of interesting, but definitely a very fun show and probably one of my favorites. So Tony, yes. Shine Theater, it's gonna be making an official announcement soon. Soon, yes. Can you give us any hints? Uh, an exclusive? You heard it, heard it here first? I'll give you four of my points. <laughs> <laughs> um, just say that Songs for New World was your favorite role. <laughs> just give me that. It was. Oh, okay. Um, I will give you a clue. Um, wonderful songwriting team. Um, Pacey and Paul. Oh. Um, um, we, <laughs> that's terrible. Um, one of the titles that we, we are leaning towards very strongly, and I'm pretty sure it's going to come through. Um, another Valley premiere by Pasek and Paul. A little show called Edges. Oh, okay. Nice. One of their earlier song cycles. Amazing, amazing music. Um, I think you're going to like it. Okay. I think so when like do you make that official <clears throat> announcement? Um, we are looking at definitely before July 31st that um, the announcement will drop for the entire season. Um, we've, and you're going to do five? We've got five, five, um, five titles, four Valley premieres. Wow. Um, one that's been done here before, but now we're looking at kind of taking a different bent with it. 
Um, well, good, so we're good. And about that. I'm curious about your venue. Do you have? Are you going to stay at St. James or? It's, the partnership with St. James is working out really well. Um, I think some of the titles will be housed there, but I'm honestly looking going much more environmentally with um, at least one of the other pieces where it's just it would fit better in a different venue. And it's not to say that um, the St. James venues we don't love them, but I'm we're we're making a point by placing this other piece where we're placing it. And that will make sense to you real soon, okay. I promise. Well, sounds intriguing. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait. Well, let's move on to our next game. Now, we're calling this one Mono Wrongs instead of Monologues. I am going to ask each contestant to read a short Shakespearean <coughs> monologue off the TV, but I'm going to ask you to do it in the style of a character from another Broadway show. If you can get through the entire monologue without completely cracking up, you'll receive two points. So our first monologue is going to go to Tony. Oh, that's so wrong. <laughs> and I want you to do this in the style of Adelaide in Guys and Dolls. <laughs> and, and remember, this is the first time Tony has seen this text. And... Um, I'm going to give you like three or four seconds to like register mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you got to go. Okay. Sounds Get out good. of your sight line there. <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is off interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. <laughs> and grievously hath Caesar answered it. Yay, that was great. That was a I great love take. it. <laughs> definitely, definitely two points. Now, our second monorong is for Maddie. I want you to do this one in the style of Harold Hill <laughs> in The Music Man. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Well, hark! The land bids me tread no more upon. It is a shame to bear me. Friends, come hither. I am so lated in this world that I have lost my way forever. I say I have lost my way forever. I have a ship laden with gold. Take that, divide it, fly, and make your peace with Caesar. I have fled myself and have instructed cowards to run and show their shoulders. Friends, be gone. I have myself resolved upon a course which has no need for you. Be gone. My treasure's in the harbor and take it. Yes. <laughs> so do, yes. You, do you know what that's from? Not Does the music man. Know? Not the music man. <laughs> it's not the music man. man. No, um, Anthony and Cleopatra. You're correct. Ooh. That's that's Anthony's uh, speech. All right, and finally, our third monorong is for Daniel. I want you to do this <laughs> in the style of Annie, in Annie. <laughs> tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools. The way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a waking shadow, a poor player. That struts the fret his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. This is a tale told by idiots, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Oh, fantastic. Nice. Yeah. I, I love each of them. I love the arms akimbo. That's mm -hmm. a, that was a nice yeah, that, that was great. a nice touch. So yeah, definitely uh, two points nice for, for, nice each, for each contestant. Mm. <laughs> so let's let's uh, give a rundown on the number of points because we haven't done that in a while. So let's start with Daniel. I think that's seventeen. You, you think seventeen. I can count. <laughs> We've got Maddie, six, and we've got Tony. Eight. Eight. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, we're catching it's up. Yeah, 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 so it's yeah. it's it's getting up there. Pretty close. Okay, it is time for our final game. It's called Finish the Lyrics. We'll play a clip of the song and you finish the words. If you get the lyrics perfect, you'll receive twelve points. If you get most of them, you'll receive nine points. So the first one is for Maddie, and the song is from Hamilton. 
I will lay down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. And I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. You got it. Woo! You got it. I was hoping it wasn't like guns and ships or something. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, that young scrappy, that's that's kind of hard because he squeezed a word in there that doesn't, it seems like it's on, yeah, so it's mm -hmm. like it doesn't roll off as easily. On the board, folks. Congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That one, huh? So <laughs> our next, no. our next lyric is for Tony. Oof, okay. And this is from Finian's Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate did, me? Did I mention I was in Phoenix Rainbow yes, my high school yes, senior yes, year? Yes, yes, oh, Okay. My mother loves I'm now considering it, by the way. Is that your final answer? <laughs> That's all I got. It has to be it. How are things in Glockamora? Ah! And then a... This fine day. <laughs> this fine day. <laughs> I was trying to get Tony a two, two la ray there. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. This fine day. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for stepping awesome. in there. Thank you for the assist. Maddie. I appreciate Any, you. Anything for you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, my hands are really sweaty. And mine are too. It's and here's right. our final one. And, and Daniel, <laughs> your got no points show for is Cats. <laughs> oh. A cat so clever as magical Mr. Mustafa's bum, bum, da, da, bum, bum. Mm. Well, congrats, congrats. The you, two got, you got your people 12, get like the two easy ones. <laughs> 12 points. <laughs> I it's like a brand idiot. new musical. It's never been heard before. Oh. <laughs> All right, so well we are going to have our final compilation of points. So we're gonna start with Tony. Mm. Eight points for Tony. Yeah, Yay! It was the Finian's rainbow. That, that <laughs> yes. Um, for Maddie, 18. Oh, nice. Nice. 18 for Maddie. And for, it looks like our champion, for Daniel, 29 points. My age. Daniel, Yay! you are oh, nice. the first ever oh, recipient of oh, the Donnie. The wow. Donnie Awards. Wow. So I'm going to make a little presentation here. You can come forward. Awesome, awesome. You can, we will oh, do the Japanese yes, thing. Yes, we'll yes, yes. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bite it, bite it. Like the Olympic gold. <laughs> and may break it. <laughs> I have strong teeth. Well, that Thank wraps you. it up for the very first TMR game show <laughs> at CMAC. I'd like to give an extra shout out to producer Kyle Lowe for helping make all this come together, to our CMAC crew, uh, Jeff and Alex for all their hard work, and also to these fearless contestants for braving the unknown <laughs> and embarking on this adventure with us. Remember to go to their shows and support local theater. Yes, we'll see you next time. Yes. Woo!